Hey everyone, so it's the morning after the night before and we caught a shot result. Theresa May thought this was going to be a rubber stamping exercise like getting a passport renewed etc. It was more like one of those awful bank applications where you have to supply utility bills and they decline you because of a typo. That's off to Jeremy Corbyn though, he didn't actually win a majority but he sure as heck managed to defeat the Blairites in the Labour Party and that might mean we've finally even seen the last of Tony Blair until he eventually ends up on trial at The Hague. Corbyn got the youth vote out against all the odds and especially in spite of Diane Abbott who spent the last six weeks making Corbyn and Abbott look more like Abbott and Costello. Noticeably, Labour's uptick in the last few days directly coincided with her putting an end to her endless series of car crash appearances. I saw a programme the other night and I wasn't sure whether it was an interview with her or a documentary about Ayrton Senna. The Lib Dems, having lost most of their target new voters to Labour, are pretty much exactly where they started, but with Vince Cable back, uh, the political equivalent, I suppose, of firing up that old computer in the spare room and upgrading it from Windows 95 to Windows 98. In Scotland, the SNP also got bumped back to reality with Angus Robertson and the big fish himself, Alex Salmon, losing their supposedly safe seats. UKIP and the Greens got hundreds of thousands of votes, but as per usual, got nothing to show for it. Yet more proof that we need proportional representation, if you ask me. It's about the one thing that Carolyn and Lucas and the Greens actually agree with Paul Nuttall on, apart from not shaving. We probably have proportional representation already, really, if it wasn't for Nick Clegg backing it a few years ago, fulfilling his role as harbinger of political disaster. And so that just leaves us with the madness of a minority administration in Downing Street. I'm posting this on Friday morning, and I suppose four questions remain that might be answered by the time you're watching this. Will Theresa resign? What happens with Brexit? Will Boris finally make a proper grab for the leadership? And most importantly of all, when on earth is anyone going to be able to afford a holiday abroad now that the pound is falling fast and the odds of a second election in the next 12 months? Anyway, see you next week, possibly sooner. Depends what happens, really. If you like these, click on the channel to subscribe.